Are you from heaven? Cause you look like an angle. An angle is in a standard position in the coordinate plane if its vertex is located at the origin and one ray is on the positive x-axis. The ray on the x-axis is called the initial side and the other ray is called the terminal side. The initial side is where the angle starts and the terminal side is the ray where the measurement of the angle stops. Therefore, the terminal side defines the angle. If the vertex is at the origin, then the angle will be in standard position. A quadrantal angle is an angle in standard position with terminal side on x-axis or y-axis. Some examples are the angles located at 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees, and 450 degrees. As well as negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, negative 270 degrees, and negative 360 degrees. Quadrantal angles are easy to find because they will always have the initial side and the terminal side on an axis. Remember that the angles can be positive or negative depending on whether the direction is clockwise, negative, or counterclockwise, positive. Reference angles are used to make the calculation of the trigonometric ratios easier. The values of the trigonometric functions for angle theta will be the same numerical value as the trigonometric values for the reference angle. A reference angle is the smallest angle that is formed by the x-axis and the terminal side of the angle theta. Therefore, the reference angle is always coterminal with the original angle theta. Reference angles will always have the value between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. The reference angle for any angle theta in standard position is the positive acute angle between the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. The reference angle is always positive and always between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Coterminal angles are angles in standard position that have the same initial side and the same terminal side. For example, 45 degrees, 405 degrees, and negative 315 degrees are coterminal angles because all three angles have the same initial side, which is the x-axis, and they share a same terminal side. There are two methods that can be used to determine if two or more angles are coterminal. The first one is to sketch the angle and determine if the terminal side is the same as per the figure. The second option is to determine mathematically if they are coterminal by subtracting 360 until a number between 0 and positive 360 can be reached. If the angle is negative, add 360 till a number between 0 and positive 360 is reached. 405 minus 360 is equals to 45. Therefore, 405 degrees and 45 degrees are coterminal. Negative 315 plus 360 is equals to 45. Therefore, negative 315 degrees and 45 degrees are co-terminal.